I like smoking uh, uh, flour more in joint paper because it lets me like enjoy it slowly. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Cannabis Chris, and you're tuned in to Pot Ones. It's the show with high questions and even higher answers. Today, we've got another entertaining guest. He's an actor, a comedian. You've probably seen him on IG and TikTok making those hilarious videos. He's been on Nick Cannon's Wildin' Out. From rapping to acting and recently played Detective McGregor on the movie You Married That, ladies and gentlemen, we got Jacob Berger in the building. Thank you for having me. Jacob, man, appreciate you being here. Good to see you, Chris. Thank you, man. You too, you too. Uh, quickly, are you familiar with bongs? Do you smoke a lot of bongs? Are you uh, like I just smoke uh, joint paper, but you know. Oh, you chubby right checker, now. Mr. Yeah. Twist. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's what I prefer, usually. Uh, but uh, I guess we'll be here to take some bong rips today. First, exactly, exactly. So, first up on the list, we got Heavy Eyes from Cookies. Yeah, I'm not gonna finish. I'm gonna take one, so I'm not gonna finish it. No, you don't have to finish the bowl, you just tap it. Now you being born in the boogie down Bronx, we know we know how y'all get down with the glizzies, but it's also <laughs> a notorious pizza spot. You know what right, I mean? Right. Uh, with Louis and Ernie's and the three boys from Italy's, and the list goes on. What's your go-to pizza spot? Uh, there's a spot on Dykeman that's pretty well known, and the top of Manhattan. It's on Dykeman. I forget what it's called, but. Some uh, Albanians, I think, own it, but it's really good. Albanians, okay. Yeah, yeah Albanians run the pizza markets in New York. <sighs> Some y'all should know about. Yeah. Okay, well, shoot, let's move on with bowl number two. We got Burn Scotty from the Cookies Menu. Wish I wish I put this down. You just put it right back in the. Oh, okay. This one's called Burn Scotty. It's a 21% THC. Let's see what it do. It all tastes really good so far. The Cookies one was good. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'll make it through to the last all of these bowls. <coughs> oh. Tastes good. Appreciate it, yeah. So what are your go-to flavors? Indica, sativa, what are uh, I'm definitely flavors? an indica guy. I, 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 it's funny, when I first moved out to LA, like, I, you know, coming from New York, you know the popular strain out there is Sour Diesel. So sour diesel. when I came out here, I was getting Sour Diesel, and I started having like anxiety and panic attacks. I'm like, why the fuck am I having panic attacks and anxiety? And I realized it's because the sativa is so strong out in LA that I couldn't smoke it anymore. So, so I, I stay away from sativa strains and maybe to do indica or indica dominant hybrids. But I love all the gassy stuff, all the OGs. You know, I, I moved here four years ago, so I live in the Valley. So obviously that's like, you know, the birthplace of the OG strains and everything. So they yeah. always got, I just like really gassy sort of tasty. especially Gassy like, over fruity? Yeah, gassy over fruity. Like, okay. yeah, because that's what I kind of grew up on back in New York. We had this stuff called uh, haze. I was going to uh, say, ain't they smoking uh, still haze out there? Yeah, they still have haze. And you know, they don't have that really in LA, but it has that sort of the same sort of gassy flavor to it that's very distinct and lo beloved. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, let's move on. Shout right, out to Powers quick. Up. We're going down right. to, uh, right. we're gonna mess with the fly. Wow, that was gonna be lit. The fly's at 24% THC. Let's see what it do. Popular strain from a popular cultivator. That tastes nice. Who's that from? <coughs> Kenny Powers. <coughs> it's off the cookie menu. <coughs> so we know you've been killing it on the mic. You know, right. we're your big music fan. Picture this. You're about to take a road trip. Yeah. You're about to hit the freeway. You got a chop, <coughs> you got a chop lit. What's on your top five music playlist? See you know what I mean? Uh, well, I really love song? anything from Wu-Tang. Like, I'm a big Wu-Tang Clan fan, like Raekwon and Ghostface. So something like Purple Tape, like that's like obviously a classic album. Uh, Nas, Illmatic. You know, that's Hell yeah! Classics. I mean, and so shit. I, I'm 37, so I grew up in the golden era of hip hop in New York. So like that's okay. where my kind of tastes lie. Also, right. Sean Price. He's one of my favorite rappers. On R.I.P. Sean Price. You yeah. know, he was one of the greatest. Uh, the Locks, Jadakiss, you know, Styles P, all them. 
uh, which is cool because once I got popped on social media, I got to do work with Styles P. I'm on his like album for doing an audio skit together. And oh, shit. sweet, sweet. So uh, how was that? that? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, that's one of the coolest things of like doing what I do is because uh, is meeting all these people. Because basically at this point, if like you're in the hip hop industry, like you probably have seen my content, and like so when I run into rappers, they all like embrace me, and it's like. It's just very surreal because, like, I grew up to listening to some of these people, and now, like, we're colleagues, and it's just a very rewarding thing, especially as like a hardcore, like, hip hop head from the Bronx. For sure, for yeah. sure. All right, so let's go. We got another one going. Uh, this one is actually Mike Epps strain. It's oh, called okay. Dated. Shout out to Mike Epps. I've wrestled with Mike Epps. It's a twenty-nine percenter, twenty-nine percent THC. Well, I feel like the percentage doesn't really matter. Like, I feel like they just throw it on there. You can smoke some fire, like 18% shit, <laughs> and you can smoke some 30% shit that's like not as good as the eight. Like, am you I wrong? I mean? Am yeah. I wrong? So a lot of things need to be COA'd and really right, licensed, right, right, and right, right, especially right, right. if it's on the market. Ooh, one of five, five, four, seven. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All about the Benjamins. <laughs> That's pretty good, Mike. You're doing a good job. Good job, Mike. Put me in, put me in a show. I, I audition for his show all the time. His, uh, that, the Upshaw's show. They, they, they know who I am. Mike Epps, man. Book my man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I endorse the weed. Come you on, put me man. Where I need to be. So check it out. You got 15 seconds in a room with a producer. Right. Who didn't hire you for a role that you really wanted. Mm -hmm. What do you say to him? You got 15 oh. seconds to say whatever you want to him. It don't work like that in those situations, especially at the level I'm at. Uh, so I can't really answer that fictitious question. Mm -hmm. Come on, give us a lie, bro. What? No, it's not a lie. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't burn bridges in the industry. You know, if I say, if I get rejected for something, I don't take it personal. You have to have thick skin as an actor. Like, so, I, so I'm never on some like, oh, I'm, oh they, they scorned me. Like, you keep it moving, like that's the attitude you gotta have. Not in some like, fuck you, you didn't, it's your fault, I didn't get a role, you know? So you keep it all professional? Yeah, well, professional as, I'm as, as, I'm supposed to, as I'm supposed to, I mean, I'm just a good person. Okay. Well, well it's yeah. time for the white wall challenge, which Sorry. means you're gonna smoke a bowl of flour mm -hmm. with some concentrate on it. Oh, some of that, that weed crack? That some <coughs> of the weed crack. The weed crack. Yeah, some of the weed crack. I see the weed crack. Uh, <coughs> That's enough weed crack for me. Huh? Is that it? Yeah, that's All good. Right. Yeah, I have a buddy, he always rolls this stuff up in with tobacco. Like, but <laughs> I'm like, this shit looks, looks looking crazy. All right, we talking about? Yeah, cheers. cheers. Oh, damn. You cleared it? I'm about to get a shout out while we're filming our interview. You gotta know, get a shout out on the gram. I love it. I love it. Shout out to the gram. 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 What's up, baby? We out here. <laughs> hey, so when working with Gary Vee to promote his new sneaker line, is there anything you didn't ask him that you wish you would have asked him in retrospect? Gary and stuff, and he always, I watched his stuff early on before I was popping. Mm -hmm. And the few times I met him, he's very nice, <coughs> nice dude. That was great stuff to say. I don't look at it like I missed out on anything. All right, so we got the next bowl. It's called Thai Mango. It's at 30% THC. Oh, shit. Which one is it? <laughs> that, that one? Right there. <coughs> Damn. Taylor, I'm about to be lit. We might have to go to Chick fil A again. Did you hear me? Uh, so we might have to go to Chick Fil A again. You know? <laughs> I'm on my seventh bowl here. They, they, got me, they got me fucked up. Oh, they got me. They got me high as hell. Oh, right. We got the munchies wings. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What? Which one is this now? We're doing. This is the Thai mango. Thai mango. Okay, I got to taste a little mango notes on there. A little. So you're well known for your hilarious cop character on social media. That is correct. What's your all-time hands-up favorite cop movie? And why? <coughs> Beverly Hills, 
Um, Police Academy. I don't, I don't know. I guess probably Training Day is probably one of my favorites. Training Day. Like, you know, it was a good, a good film. Obviously, Hold stellar it performances level. in both Denzel and Ethan Hawke. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have lots of favorite movies. It's hard. It's, that's not something you can like really boil down to the size of one thing, like you know, because every movie has something different to offer and like different, you know, just fun. Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, we gonna move on down the list here. <laughs> yeah, we getting through it. So we got the Sicario. Yeah, you know, we some shooters. <laughs> um, this is Michael Corleone, Blanco care. brand right here. That was 30% THC. <laughs> yeah, I got a little gas to it. <laughs> How'd you come up with the I'm a Jew parody? <laughs> um, well, you know, hip hop's always been a huge part of my life. And um, I used to be a social worker, went to graduate school and everything, worked a couple years, and then. I got laid off and I kind of like fell out of love, <laughs> love with doing it. So I started Craigslist hustling, finding jobs, and uh, and I <clears throat> started getting into acting. But I made this comedy rap video. I made some videos previously, but this was what it was when Meek Mill album Boss was out. That song it was like the song of the summer in January, uh, in the summer of 2011. And I just did like I'm a Jew about being a Jew. And uh, I got picked up by Barstool Sports. So shout out to Barstool early on. And uh, <clears throat> then a couple other things happened. That's when I kind of decided I was gonna go all in into being an actor, entertainer. Hell yeah. And you know, fast forward a little over 10 years now, like it's all worked out. It's a really you know, beautiful thing. For sure, man. That's dope, that's dope. Moving right down the list, we got the Snoodleberries. <coughs> Snoodleberries is, uh, that out the network, man. Holy shit. Get hot. <laughs> you guys getting contact on this? Or was oh, it yeah. a little bit? A little bit? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yeah, Taylor, you want it? You want it? Taylor, come on, come come in. Pull an audible. Taylor. Taylor. Come, come through. Taylor. Come, come hit this bond real quick. Right. I was gonna let you hit this bond real quick, like just come pull up for a minute. Yeah. <coughs> Let's hit this hoe. I got you. No, it's alright. I, I don't mind. Shit, I got you. Fire up. Nah, now nah, you gotta put clean. You gotta clear it. Clear it. A few moments later. Make sure it's good. <laughs> so I was gonna say, early in your career, you worked on songs and scenes from Fannie Lou. Yeah, that was a really cool experience. I got to perform at Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall. What yeah. theater player thespian inspired you to even hit the stage? Oh well, I always did theater as a kid growing up. Like you know, I was uh, started even nursery school. Like when we did. Uh, the story of Passover, I remember, but I was part of a children's theater company when I was like around 10 to 12 years old. Uh -huh. And we ran, right, it was called Tada Children's Theater. A lot of famous people came through there, like Jordan Peele and a bunch of other big name actors, like, you know, spent their time there as kids. And I did theater in high school as well, so I always had some type of acting background. It's not like it just came out of nowhere. Sure. But as far as actors go, you know, I, I love anyone who's really passionate about the arts and does stuff. Uh, you know, Brian Cranston is great, uh, Sam Rockwell, uh, Denzel, uh, you know, just the list goes on and on. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an appreciator of the arts and other thespians who do what they do and, sure. you know, live in the moment. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> what we got up next? The Khalifa Kush. Shout out to Wiz. Oh, is this the Wiz's shirt? Yeah. Let's get it. Ooh, I'm high as fuck right now. I couldn't imagine, I would be, I don't know, if I actually finished all these, but I feel like, like your, your audience is probably gonna be like, oh, he's a little bitch, you don't smoke, you didn't finish all the bowls. Like, well, uh, Jacob, all we ask you to do is taste the chill. About it. It. It nah, but I was, but it's just like, this is so much to smoke. Like, I, I just, I know I'm gonna be dead. Like, I'm an old ass man at this point. Like, I can't be taking, I can't be, I can't be ripping <laughs> 10 bowls to the face. Jacob, like, look at this camera after you hit that yeah. bowl. Okay. 
We're gonna do an extreme zoom close up to see if you good. Ready? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you good, Jacob? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, that's what's up. As a psychology major at the University of Buffalo, yeah. how was it like filming Mindhunters on Netflix? Like, and how much oh, of your psychology uh, knowledge did you <laughs> apply to that? Nah, that was a cool little part. They ended up cutting my lines, though, unfortunately. It was a season premiere of uh, season two. Um, that was just really cool because I st obviously study I have normal psychology and I read books about like serial killers and just pet pathology in general. So it was more it was really cool working with, uh, uh, oh, why is his name escaping me now? The direct David Fincher, he was the director. So he's obviously a very legendary director. So working with him was like, you know, very cool for me. Just as an actor, we were shooting a scene at where one of the uh, serial killers uh, spent time at the, the Yates, Gates character, whatever his name is. For sure. um, but yeah, just working with him, it was crazy because apparently he does a lot of takes for each setup. So we literally did my scene, like, and he kept having me change the line. Like, probably did like forty, like forty takes. I'm not even joking. <laughs> forty which takes, is, which is unheard of, because usually it's like you do two or three takes in TV film and you're moving on, you know. But, okay. And the the leads of the show are like, no, nah, don't worry, you're doing great. Like, you know, this is how he does it. You know, it's totally normal. I was like. Cause I've worked with a lot of really like Oscar-winning directors, so everyone's like a little different. Sure. Most of the time, like big directors really don't do much. Like they literally are just like if they cast it right, they're not going to be pressed about like micromanaging your emotion or telling you how to act in the scene. Like they're pretty much happy with what what you're bringing, no matter what, as long as you keep it truthful to the the writing and, and the tone. For sure. Yeah. You know what? Let's hit this bowl. It's called Off the Couch. This last one right here. It's, yeah, it's number ten. It's Off the Couch. Tough to All right. Finish that. <coughs> See, I like smoking uh, uh, flour more in joint paper because it lets me like enjoy it slowly. Hit it like a bond. Like it does get me. I agree. It does get me a little higher because you cough it, but so I can't enjoy it casually. Like. If you take a rip of this, you're just like, ah, I'm dead, like, you know? Hey, check it out. But, <coughs> We've all had the munchies hella high. I know you yeah, had. Yeah. What's been one of the strangest concoctions you've ever made up in a kitchen? Um, You've had the munchies. I, I'd say one thing I like to do is uh, Cool Ranch <laughs> chips, and you dip it in cream cheese. That's uh, pretty fire. You know, cool you Ranch? That. Yeah, you take Cool Ranch chips, and you just kind of, like, scoop it like like, like it's dip. Oh, cream, cream cheese, cheese Yeah, just cream cheese, yeah. I like cream cheese on Ritz and shit. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's banging on, on the Cool Ranch chips. For sure, for yeah. sure, man. Yeah. Hey, faded, but we made it. We made it. Check That's it out. All the flavors. You don't have to do this, but I would suggest yeah. you should try this. It's called The Last Dab. All you got to do is fucking take a hit, take the taste, you know what I mean? Okay, all right. You convinced me. There you go. Where are you? Pull it out here. Shout out to the ooh la la. Ooh, whoa, Run the jewels. Oh, 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 don't put your mouth on that. No, yeah, no, burn the shit out of my lip. Okay, here, you want to tap this right nah, here? Burn my lip here. You're good. Oh, He's done with it. Well, check it out. Cannabis Chris is going to hit this shit. Run the jewels. Ooh la la. Y'all did it on this. Concentrate. Yeah, we got a bathroom over there. Due to an unexpected injury, we did have to end the show abruptly that day, but we do want to say thank you to Jacob for coming down, he showed up, and he made it all the way through our flavor gauntlet. So respect to him, we gonna keep it lit, it's your boy Cannabis Chris, tune in next time for a brand new episode of Pot Ones.